Okay, so let's get started here. What is Mapbox Studio? Mapbox is a map software company, and though they use open source technologies, they are not open source per se. Um, so it should be known that Mapbox is a, an up and coming uh, major GIS and software company that is really giving you know Google some some sh or not Google sorry Esri some shutter shutters right now because uh, they have some huge contracts mostly military satellite contracts with the Department of Defense which was always Esri's domain um, and also when it comes to web cartography Mapbox is is really pushing the envelope in a lot of different areas so it's likely that any company you work for will. Um, either embrace Esri or Mapbox, generally not both, and the reason being that these two are fierce competitors. But their software is really good for web map development, and one of the key pieces of software that they've built is Mapbox Studio. And they keep changing names and stuff, um, although generally they use the word studio. So they've got, it started as Tile Mill, then Studio, then Studio Classic, and now we have Studio. So what you'll be seeing for the foreseeable future is Mapbox Studio. So what you want to do immediately is go to mapbox.com, set up an account if you don't have one already, but preferably set it up with your .edu address. The reason is is that you get a little bit, um, you, a little bit nicer of a free package in certain things. And what you'll see is when you go to Studio, you'll see this kind of outline here. You've got Home with some promo videos that they'll always show you. This will be really useful as you go through this, read the studio manual. I mean, no one likes reading a manual, but at least they use little kidsy icons to kind of draw you in. And what can you do with studio? First of all, you can customize your own map styles. So design map styles, and, and basically for exporting to tile sets where you bring in data and it styles it automatically. So this allows you to really kind of create aesthetically appropriate functional web tile sets that aren't just defaults, not just Google defaults, not just Mapbox defaults, but your own tile sets that only highlight the information that you want to be highlighted, that use the proper visual hierarchy for your needs. And so really this allows us to start creating styled web maps, which has been sorely needed. Um, you can then export your styles um, and as different tile sets. You can use other people's tile sets and import them. And you can also play with data sets. So what we're going to be doing is styling in here. So the first thing you're going to want to do once you get logged in is get everything set up, check out the manual, and then we're going to go to new style in the next video. See you then.